YouTube, YouTube. Hey, Troops. It's Miss True Redbone. Um, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I just wanted to come on real quick. I just made y'all my morning vlog. Um, but I wanted to come on because I was inspired to talk about my fibromyalgia really quickly. Um, again, if you do not... Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Any condiments? No, thank you. So, um, I was coming here. Sorry, y'all. I was coming on here. Great. With the drink of mess, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, I'm recording. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Day. You too. So, um, I was coming on here to say. First of all, fibromyalgia, you guys. I have a lot of uh, YouTube uh, uh, true family members who suffer with fibromyalgia, and my heart pours out to you guys because I firsthand have experience on um, the syndrome. It's a syndrome. Um, fibromyalgia can go hand in hand with other symptoms also, but in my case, I it was inherited. My mom has it severely. She has rheumatoid arthritis. Um, severely and uh, fibromyalgia she has been you know pretty much bedridden um, since I was before I moved out of Milwaukee so that was about 11 years ago now she's starting to go to physical therapy I'm so proud of you mama I'm so proud of you because when my brother passed of course um, I don't know that feeling of losing a child. I don't want to know that feeling of you losing a child. But I know how it felt to lose my brother. So I can imagine that it was like a thousand gazillion times worse for my parents to lose um, my brother. Mind you, they grew up together. My mom was 15 when she got married. That's when she had my brother. And they grew up together. But I didn't mean to stray y'all. I came on here about fibromyalgia. I, it is a chronic fatigue disorder chronic pain disorder um the the fatigue is severe like you can barely get up and go to the bathroom um the pain is agony far as it's it's a chronic pain disorder but it's your nerves every part of your body has nerves you guys so just imagine um if somebody touches you gently and you're in the middle of a flare you could that that hurts it lit i am not exaggerating um to the touch wrist hurt ankles hurt knees hurt um but along with rheumatoid arthritis i also have something called raynaud's disease where and all of these go hand in hand with fibromyalgia so if you all in the world feel that you have these symptoms go get tested ask your ask your doctor if you could have fibromyalgia um, because I've had a cousin who searched who had all these symptoms for years and felt like she was going crazy because the doctors couldn't pinpoint exactly what she had but she ended up having fibromyalgia and was on disability for two years you know um, I pray to God that it never comes down to that for me because disability in my life wouldn't be enough money to survive not with five kids a grandkid all of the all of the things that we like to do in life but i guess if i had to sacrifice i would do it but anyways it's a chronic fatigue chronic pain disorder if you feel like you have been hurting you're always tired um it hurts to the touch uh my, my husband accidentally kicked me the other night, y'all. If I could have got out that bed fast enough, I, I literally wanted to roll over and cry. He did it twice, but it, it's not his fault. It affects so much stuff in life. Um, I guess I was, I was lucky to find a man with great patience and is willing to take care of me when I'm sick. But that is not always the case fibromyalgia can lead you to divorce quickly because people think that it's a mental thing it is not it is real life full effect agony um we don't have enough serotonin in our brain so when we when we sleep so if you didn't know when you sleep 
your brain produces serotonin that allows your body to heal from any activity that you had throughout the day, whether it was just you working at work or working out at the gym or anything. This heals, the serotonin helps to heal those mus muscles in your body. But when you don't produce enough serotonin, one, we don't sleep well. Um, a lot of us have restless leg syndrome. Um, and because you don't get to fully sleep, your body never heals. Your muscles never get to recoup. So that is what causes the pain. We never heal properly. Unless we are actually getting, you know, a full night's sleep, which I really don't, you know. Um, and this also brings on anxiety or depression. So, if you feel that you have these symptoms, go to your doctor. Ask them to test you for fibromyalgia. It is a simple test. They 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 start off with your neck. Um, and if you have these sens sensitive areas, because it's my neck, like my neck all the way down to my lower back. Um, if you have these sensitive areas, more than likely, you have fibromyalgia. And I, I do understand how frustrating it can be not being diagnosed correctly. Um, I just wanted to put this out there for those who may be frustrated with going through the pain that they're going through with no answers. You may have fibromyalgia, you guys. Look it up, do your research, go to your doctor and see if they can help. That's all I wanted to come on and say really quickly. I love you guys. I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share. I'm not a secret, you guys. I feel myself coming back. Um, I, I was out, you guys. I was out for about three days because of this fibromyalgia flare. I'm still moving in slow motion, but I'm moving. Thank you. Thank you, God. I'm moving. All right. Make sure your notification bells are on. Um, they should, it should say all. So you subscribe and go all the way to the top and hit the all, um, select the all and it will notify you whenever Miss True Redbone posts a video. I appreciate you guys, love you guys, have a amazing day. Think positive and positive things will happen. Love you.